With, with the old processes started with, with a course that I did over summer in Central St. Martins. It was the alternative processes course. And this is how it all really developed. I started to look at Victorian photography to come up with the idea of what, what should I what should I shoot and and then I s decided that the family photography was was the most interesting to me. Uh, therefore, I decided to create uh, wedding portraits uh, inspired by uh, Carte de Visite, which was basically working like a business card for the whole families. I think that it was the first darkroom project in the history of the university and the whole program. Everybody was absolutely shocked. But I pulled it off, but I managed. So um, people really reacted uh, to my models. I mean, they they were they were like random people from the streets, but I managed to dress them up, right? So everybody could not believe that I managed to put in a suit fifty guys. I decided to use myself as a model because. Well, let's face it, in history of art, every single artist had a series of self-portraits. Every single guy was different, obviously, and some of them made me feel really awkward. I can see my, my feelings, how I felt as well, on the photographs. I mean, the faces cannot hide anything, right? <laughs> I think it's great fun. It makes me really sad that uh, alternative photographic processes are dying out and people don't learn them, learn them that much anymore. Very often people are scared of learning the new processes. In 19th century, most photographers employed 12-year-old girls to work in the darkroom, so, you know, if children can do it, so can you. My name is Agnieszka Piesycka. I'm London-based photographic artist.